Today we are sitting with Mr. Julian, our librarian at El Dorado PS Library. We are your hosts, Archie and Trinita. This is not your usual type of library. It is more interactive and our librarian is running many new initiatives and programs. We want to know all about it. Why are they focusing on robotics? We thought library was just for exchanging books. Books will always play an important role in our library. However, we're the unlibrary, so we want to do things different here, and that's why robotics is brought into it. Students learn to code, and from learning how to code, they learn how to program robots, and it makes learning interactive and a lot of fun here at the El Dorado Library. Why is learning coding important for students? Well, many of the jobs that are coming out in the future are code dependent. Right? I mean, they're based on digital technologies and computer literacies, and coding is the basis of that. How does technology help you as a librarian to interact with students? Technology helps me in many ways. Uh, first, I use it every day in the Daily Eagle to show what's going on in the library. I put up pictures and videos so other students can see the fun activities that are happening here and look at me and go, oh, I want to try to program Dash too, Mr. J. Uh, I also use it with Google+. Plus. Right? We're, we're piloting that with Class 3A this year and we're going to introduce it school-wide next year where every student will have their own Google Plus account and we can interact with students that way. We can actually watch a student work on their project live. So while they're typing, I can see exactly what they're doing. How hard is it to overcome challenges in technology? <laughs> the greatest um, challenge in technology is when it's not working. Right? When the Wi-Fi is down or you cannot get the program to relay itself to the computer, that's the most frustrating part, and a lot of times there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to be patient, come up with a plan B, do something else for a while, and go back to it. What do you predict the future of the book fairs will be in El Dorado? As they are more like this year, uh, it's more of a student and teacher-run book fair this year, and I, I predict more of that next year, uh, where students pretty well run it themselves with their classroom teachers. Uh, all advertisement will be done online through the Daily Eagle, and because we, we want to keep the focus of this library on innovative technologies. So now you know what makes our library special. Come and visit the library whenever you can.